Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you about how you can set up your pricing plans on your website. Now, in a previous video, I've already gone over how you can create a subscription-based website, but in today's video, I wanna teach you how you can set up your pricing plans. Let's go ahead and get started. So pricing plans look similar to this. Now for today's video, I'm just using a regular Wix template and I'm using one that has pricing and plans already on it. If you do not have that already, what you can do is come over to add apps and just look up pricing plans. And you should see one that looks like this and it's created by Wix. And then you should see instead of open, it should say add to site. Once you add it to the site, you're gonna see an element that looks like this. It won't look exactly like this because this one is designed for this template, but you're gonna see something that looks like this and it should also open up the dashboard where you'll be able to create plans and edit plans. So if I just click on this free plan right here, here we can actually change the name, the tagline, we can add benefits, we can change the price so we can have it be a free plan we can have it be a one one-time payment plan or we can have it be a recurring payment so weekly monthly or yearly fee and once you are done you can just go ahead and press save because today's video is not about actually setting up the plans themselves but more about how you can showcase them on your website now as i mentioned this one is already designed for this template that we're using today but if you want to change the design of yours, all you have to do is go into the settings right here. And inside of here, you can actually change which plans you want to showcase on the page. We can go into layout and change some properties here. We can even change the benefit bullets to be check marks with a border around it, just the check mark or even an arrow. But I kind of like it like this. We can also go over to display, which we can change which elements display on the site. And we can also change which plan is highlighted. So as of right now, premium is active and you can see right over here on the premium plan, it has a different styling and it also has a little banner above it that says best value. Now, if we go over to text here, we can change like our title, our subtitle, our button text, and we can even change the ribbon for best value. Then below that, we have the design where we can actually change the background colors. And for this highlighted one over here, we can also change the styling for that. And we can do the same thing for text. So we have the regular text styling for these two. And we also have a tab for highlighted, which is gonna be this one right over here. And for button, just like before, we have bunch of settings for the design here for both regular and highlighted and for the ribbon we'll have some design features here as well but the main thing that I would like to cover today is let's say this little pricing table does not offer enough information and you would like to display even more about each one of these plans what we can do is come up to pages and we'll just add a page for this one, we'll just call this one the free plan. And here we'll be able to add more information about the free plan. But if we go back over to our pricing plans page, let's just say we want to add more information about it. So what we can do is let's just go ahead and bump this down just a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and add a button. Now for this button, I would like it to be in the same style as these buttons up here. So I just grabbed this one right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and make it the same width and same height as this button right, right up here as get started. And I'm just gonna bring it down below, just below the pricing plan itself. For the text, we're gonna say learn more and then we're going to link it to the free plan page that we just created. Now, when the user clicks to learn more about the free plan, and they go over to this page, you know, what we're gonna want to have is another pricing plan option for them to get started. So if we go back over to the pricing plan page, we'll click the pricing plan widget, we can go into the settings 
we can go to add-ons and it's going to give us two options. We can have a whole plan list and we can add it to another page if we wanted to. Maybe we want to showcase all of the different types of plans on the other pages. Or if we did what we just did where we created a specific page for this specific plan, then we can add a single plan to that page. So we're going to press add to page and we're going to add it to the free plan page that we just created. So now it's going to take us right over to the free page that we created with the new pricing plan widget. Now, of course, you are going to have to go into the design and try to replicate the design that you created for your earlier pricing plan. But when you add more information about this plan, maybe you can add this at the very bottom as a little call to action, like get started. Or maybe you can even have it at the top in the hero section for them to get started as well. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.